Hello and welcome back to me, myself and I playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, Daily Run, it's Isaac, let's go! It's been a day or so since the last time, we should probably just go straight to the curse room because it's not an XL floor. Huh, why should you not go to the curse room on an XL floor? On an XL floor, especially if it's the first floor, you're guaranteed to deal with the devil as long as you take no red heart damage. If you go into the curse room, you take red heart damage, unless you have done something else like gained a spirit heart beforehand. Do we take marks? No. Do we take anti-grav? <laughs> no, <laughs> mostly. Anti-grav can be a fun item. Oh, fuck it. Let's show everyone what anti-grav does. Marked is okay. Uh, I find it quite difficult to deal with marked because basically you're permanently shooting. And when you walk into a room, the direction you're permanently shooting is, oh my god, did you see that? Uh, is right in the middle. And this can be very bad for many, many rooms, such as the ones where there is a horrible thing you should not be shooting at in the middle of the room. Like, hello, that's a box in the box. Okie dokie. Uh, like, explodey type barrels and things. I mean, it's okay, we have two spirit hearts. I'm not too salty that we didn't get a spirit heart out of that, oh, that was really bad. Um, out of that uh, tinted drop. But, at the same time, I would like to have got a spirit heart out of that tinted drop. So I'm slightly salty. If we get more bombs, I will probably try to do that. So you can see what anti-grav does. Uh, if I let go, by the way, that's what causes them all to fly around the room like that. And they will fly around the room in whatever trajectory they would have had... ...if you, uh, didn't have anti-grav, basically. So, what sort of room is this going to be? Probably a bunch of... yeah, these... These douchebags right here. These ones um, are reasonably easy dealt, easily dealt with by anti-grav because they follow you. So you just walk backwards, leaving a trail of tears. It's like Hansel and Gretel stuff, except slightly more dangerous. It's like if Hansel and Gretel had used landmines rather than breadcrumbs. That was Hansel and Gretel, right? That was very dangerous, actually. That thing could have genuinely farted me directly into a fire, and that would have made me sad. There's also this... Well, I was going to say this asshole here, but in fact, yeah, this is perfect room for Hagalaz. In fact, he walked into a fire and killed himself, so I'm happy with that. Might as well take this, because we don't have a thing. All this destruction and no benefit. Do we take the pill? Of course we take the pill. Balls of steel. Nice. Uh, we have no more bombs, which was something that I would have liked to have had. Um, you may be thinking, but you took Antigrav and you could now have re-rolled it. You may be right. That may be something that we end up doing. Uh, wishing that we could have done. However... It's almost certainly better to have the re-roll for the boss item than for an item room item. I think the pool of options is smaller for the boss rooms. Uh, but it's certainly... Well, I say certainly better. It can be a lot better. Uh, especially if it's going to have a bunch of things like health upgrades in it. That sort of thing. Speed upgrades. Shot speed upgrades. There's way more interesting items. Uh, yeah. For example, tears up and shot speed down, so now we're shooting this fast. Shot speed doesn't really matter because in the majority of the cases, we're going to be using the fact that the enemies are trying to chase us down to actually do the damage. So our range is going to be basically the range of the enemy, like how far they can walk to get to our tears, rather than how far can our tears go to get to the enemy. So this is turning out okay, I have to imagine, and this is probably a secret room, just based on my learnings and having seen a few secret rooms in my time. Curse of the Blind is a problem, we don't know whether we want to re-roll things or not, but at the same time, we did just get infamy from a secret room, so... The curse was, I didn't know I was going to get infamy. I mean, I'm not sure what I could have got there. Possibly we could have got Cursed Eye? Not sure. I don't think there are too many bad secret room items. I mean, I think the worst one is uh, Raw Liver, which is just 2 HP. Which in and of itself is not a bad thing, but... If in the future we're going to be thinking about things like the Horror Babylon or Empty Vessel when we really don't want any HP in the late game... Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, it's not necessarily a good thing to keep picking up HP upgrades. This is a weirdly safe floor, is it not? I agree, it is. Kinda wanna crack into those with a bomb. Good chance of maybe the quarter, or at least some money out of it. We've only picked up one penny throughout the whole game so far. This is going to be strength. Strength will help us with our boss. But I'm really looking for the item room first. Well, I guess I'm not necessarily looking for the item room first. The uh, HP and tears upgrade that we got from Blue Cap is fine. 
I mean, I think I'm still going to do this, despite everything. Despite all the rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. A hanged man. That can be pretty good, actually. I'm going to keep that over the strength card. Actually, I say that, kind of thinking that in this direction is the boss. Uh, so I think we keep the strength. Yeah, that seems fairly, fairly likely in my, uh, in my Isaac experience calling upon there. And of course we get this uh, re-roll ready, so this is perfect timing. We'll use the strength card here, it just gives us a damage upgrade, gives us a temporary red HP, which I kinda could have used to scum up a deal with the devil. But what we should do here, and don't let me forget, careful here, is go into the deal with the devil, see what it looks like. It's two singles. So the problem is we have Curse of the Blind. So, we're probably going to end up taking them both, even though it may not be a good idea. Mostly because they only cost 1 HP. Will you fucking die? There we go. Missing Page 2 is okay. And Betrayal is also okay. And Breakfast. Well, none of that was great. I was kind of hoping for uh, at least one active item. Maybe Guppy's Paw. Um, from the deal with the devil. Something I could put back and re-roll, knowing what I was re-rolling. It's kind of okay. Um, it's... At this early stage of the game, it's really not a big issue, but oh, that was terrible. But now everything hates everything else, so there's that. They're all attacking each other, which is nice. I did trap myself in the corner, so we shouldn't have really been in that position, but we have so much HP. The next one, it uh, just clears the room anyway, because there's a black heart waiting to happen. Oh, careful. Here we go then. A couple more. These are probably the worst annoyingly things that there are because they don't follow you they just sit there and shoot so you can't use your mad kiting skills to kill the son of a bitch we have eight cents is that enough to go into the shop maybe we should take it i don't know what it is tractor beam kind of not sure if tractor beam is any good uh maybe not so i don't know what's happening here wait what the heck if we go in this direction there are tears but they're all gathering up if we go in this direction, they're in a lile. <laughs> this is the weirdest synergy I've ever seen. Uh, I'm not going in the shop, mostly because we don't know what the items are going to be. That's odd, isn't it? It's very odd. You're right. Don't forget we can tap shoot. That's what I'm doing here, by the way. It can get a little bit, you know, a bit hard on the wrist. <laughs> hard on. Um, you, you don't want to be tap shooting for the entire game, is what I'm suggesting. But, uh, so anti-grav tractor beam does allow us to do some weird things like set up a bunch of shots and then sort of put them on the enemy. Like if I do this and then go over here, what, I, I, okay look, so if I set up a bunch like this and then do this, then now they're over there, now they're off the screen. It's crazy. Yep, secret room is fine, bit of cash might be good. Yeah. Not playing the keeper, so we don't have to leave it lying around as HP. On the other hand, playing as Isaac, so we need to make the best of every situation. We've got we've got rerolls, we need to not misplay our rerolls. I'm not sure whether anti-grav tractor beam is a misplay or not. I didn't really have a choice about tractor beam except for take or don't take an item you can't see. Uh please. I mean we can basically put the tears directly on the enemy. It's just we have to achieve that. Hmm. It seems like if I walk into them, I gather them up in my face. If I walk away from them, they leave a, a trail. So none of the tears will ever end up behind me. Also, you can't shoot... Well, you can kind of do that. You can't shoot at an angle anymore. Is the cartridge better than the lipstick? Since I don't have a clue what the lipstick does, I'm going to take the cartridge. It gives us a small chance of invincibility every so often, which I think is quite valuable. I'm not sure whether it can actually proc for something like the... Uh, that's handy. For something like... What am I saying? The, the arcade machines. You know, the... Um, the blood bank? The donation machines there? Which would be nice because they can give us all the money whilst we're invincible, but I don't think the cartridge will do that. In fact, I think you might have to take damage. Maybe it procs when you take damage, so it could proc as a result of playing that machine once. See, I'm... Oh, that was bad. 
I'm walking forwards trying to uh, move the shots forward. Because if I walk sideways, then I move the shots sideways. It stands to reason that forwards is forwards. I'm actually doing quite a lot of damage, but I don't think we've really got a damage upgrade at all. In fact, I think it's just the tears upgrade that we got from them. Um, oh, thank you, Infamy. From Blue Cap on the first floor. We picked up some pretty shoddy deals with the devil, to be honest. Um, I mean, I know it's first floor and you need precedent and everything. But having Curse of the Blind. And then, on top of that, two one-heart deals. We, in fairness, we could have re-rolled them and tried to get two heart deals. And still been okay. I mean, it was a reasonable assumption that our uh, boss item was going to be HP of some description. This is weird, isn't it? It's going to come back round. Is it coming back round? No, it's just going to keep going. Uh, it comes back out of my face. This is out Right, okay. So the reason that they gather up is that they can't be off of this line. Okay? Makes sense? So when I walk forwards into them... They get pushed because of the extent of that line. But Continuum, which would normally cause the tears to wrap around and come out the back of the uh, of the other side of the room, now come back around the other side of the beam, which is amazing. This is a really great synergy, and who the hell needs Dad's key? It's not like we can use it. We should talk about that, by the way. We're going to the dark room, I think, which is pretty good. Uh, it gives us a lot of opportunity to get a lot of points, but it doesn't give us an opportunity to scum up the game by doing stuff that we couldn't normally do. That being said, no one gets the opportunity to scum up the stuff they couldn't normally do. Ah, here we go. It does happen. Look, it's happening on the arcade right now. So let's see if we can get something out of this guy. Because I think he's got more valuable stuff for us than um, left hand, though. Maybe? He might have more valuable stuff for us than just the money you can get from the blood bank. This is really throwing off my rhythm. Give me an item. Yeah, that's what we like to see. So now we're two-thirds of the way to spun. Did we get a thing? Pretty sure we got a syringe. We didn't get a syringe. That's one item on the way to spun. Spun is a very good transformation. That was a bit uh, dicey. <laughs> I wouldn't like to try and do that again. So if you could avoid help having me have to. Be happy with it. Excuse me. Some of my tears are moving and some of them are not because of continuum. It's great. But also really hair-raising at the same time. This is such a fun synergy. Uh, I'm not sure about the um, anti-grav, but if you just, you know, <laughs> just the continuum uh, with, with tractor beam. We're fast enough for this, but am I actually good enough to stop in between? Yes. Only just though, only just. Uh, yeah, we'll take bloody lust. I don't think there's any point re-rolling it, and it does assist us if we want to play. For example, we could right now go back and play the blood bank and use the fact that it hurts us to get some damage upgrades from Bloody Lust without... Ah, that was close. Compromising our deals with the devil. Let's go in here and see what we got. Blank card. Not really worth replacing D6 with. And I want to keep hold of this charge ready for the boss. So we'll keep going. A bit low on HP, mostly because we spent some of it on the Demon Judgment, which I think was worthwhile, but we haven't really picked anything up to replace it yet. Chariot. Ah. Uh, I don't think that'll help us with the blood bank in terms of bloody lust, which, by the way, will just give us a damage increase every time we get a hit on for the floor. So it'll reset when the floor ends. But I think if we use the chariot to play the blood bank, we'll get plenty of money. Uh, pardon me? Well, that works anyway, but I think I was still continuing. Oh, we've been there. I thought, oh, second secret room. Wasn't even paying attention to the map. That was foolish. Never mind. It happens. Mistakes are made. Uh, I don't think if we use the chariot to play the blood bank, we will get the money from it. We won't get the damage bonus from Bloody Lust. And we don't want to go a little bit faster. We've got Bus Rush to do, and unfortunately Hush. Although Hush could be a little bit easier. Oh, that was daft. I couldn't tell which direction he was going, and I can't stop my shots. I guess I could uh, <laughs> I actually sort of shotgunned him on the way past. That was really funny. We can't get to the mob track room, the boss track room. I'm just going to go. I want to make sure we're in time. Magic Mushroom is definitely not worth re-rolling, by the way. It's everything up and a very good damage upgrade. Unfortunately, it's also a size upgrade, which is odd. And, of course, uh, apparently a shot height upgrade, which doesn't normally come into it. It does manifest as a range upgrade. You can see how no longer are our shots at 
actually st stuck to the uh, to the beam now. Uh, yeah, we can do this because we just got a free key. We haven't got any bombs, so I guess we'll wait until some bombs show up. No, I don't want to make more of them. So no deal with the devil on the previous floor. I mean, it's kind of to be expected, but I'm still allowed to be a little bit bummed out by it. I was hoping for one. Uh, that's fine. Just keep opening them all. Screw it. Maybe we'll get a penny. We didn't get a penny. That's fine. Uh, why do you keep shooting when you walk around? Uh, have you tried not? It's kind of boring, don't you think? Oh, Jesus, what do we do? Unless you can kill one of those pretty quick, you kind of have to try and kite them properly. At least they're exploding each other. That's pretty fun. Well, they're not anymore. It was temporarily pretty fun. Can't pick those up, so that's a good sign. But I'd like to not take any red heart damage if entirely possible. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we're firing even faster. Ridiculously faster. I think I would probably replace cancer with... The, the cancer trinket. What even was that, by the way? Someone go, just rewind and put in the comments to tell me what hit me just now. Red heart damage? No. I think I'll probably replace the cancer trinket with the... Uh, the curved horn, because our shot speed is all... Our shot rate, our fire rate, is already really good. But we could definitely do with the damage boost. This is pretty fun. Look how many tears I'm leaving on the ground. Because we don't know how much HP I've got. Ah, let's go and open that um, chest, actually, now that we have a bomb. Which has turned up in my inventory without rhyme nor reason. This will slow us down a little bit, but we do have a decent walking rate. Two more bombs from that is fine with me. Yeah, we're walking nice and quickly, and we're looking, <laughs> walking backwards, which is dangerous in most situations, but Isaac can cope. Try not to uh, walk into those, especially whilst they're dying. It's a terrible situation to be in. These things could be difficult. The worst ones is going to be the, uh, the ones that do a cross-shaped attack. Because, you know, how the heck, right? We've got so many shots on the screen that we can just move this beam of bullets across things and they die. That's actually probably going to be my, um, <laughs> it's so colourful, probably going to be my tactic for the rest of the game. Uh, have this beam of shots and just move move them like this. As long as it's established, once it's established we'll be fine. Algis, that could be good. Yeah, that's slightly better uh, uh, familiar. We'll use Algis for something very clever, if I can think of what, before I use it for something not clever like not dying. I'm tempted to use it for the secret room. Uh, I guess we want both of these. <coughs> we can't quite afford it. If we take Humbling Bundle, it's much more likely we'll get two cents. Because if any pennies drop, it'll be two. This is probably a um, super secret room, which contains one of these. Stop firing. Thank you. Which <laughs> contains two keys, but that's not two coins. We'll keep an eye out for two coins. Ah, that was bad. Hopefully not red heart damage. It's hard to know. There's two coins. Right, now we'll go and buy those options, and those options will give us two items from the bosses. When a boss drops an item, it'll be two. I think we're very close to, if not already on the point where we start taking red heart damage. Which is a shame, because I would like to have definitely got a deal with the devil on this floor, even though I don't know how much HP I've got. Pretty sure I've got three red hearts. That seems about right. There's a curse room we could have gone to. I'll go to the curse room maybe afterwards, or maybe we'll just make a speed up because we're actually at 17 minutes and only just fighting this boss. It's died really quickly, and I will definitely take this. No deal with the devil, so we probably did take red heart damage in the end. Which is a shame. Yeah, we've got four of them though, so that's nice. I don't want to take any here, if I can avoid it, so... Let's try not to get hit by these fires. Look how many shots we're doing now. It's thanks to the cancer trinket, of course. It's pretty funny. I'm very much a fan of this. I'm always at home for this sort of nonsense. Yep. Yep. Everything just died. That'd be great. And you. There we go. A look down. That's really what we're after. Hello? Oh, there's one more. Here you go. There we go. I'll pick up our algae's rune. This or the chariot? Doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure algae's last for ages, though. I can't really go into the curse room because I can get in for free, but I can't get out for free. So, there's no point going to the shop even though it's basically free. So we're going to take damage. 
if we go to the sh uh, the curse room. So I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. I mean, it's that pretty easy, actually. Answers. That's pretty good, actually. There is a dice room that we've accidentally gone by. This thing's going to have to quit uh, from our mortal sphere, if you don't mind. There we go. Excuse me. Thank you. One more? Oh, hello. Two more. It's pretty difficult to uh, achieve right now. We've got so many shots on the screen, it's like soy milk. Please, I haven't got time for this. Good. Fucking dick. Right, there's a shop over there. That's a library. We'll go into it then, definitely. Reroll? No, it's a redo. Right, so here's what we do. We finish boss rush and we try to get out. We want to get out of boss rush and come back and do this. So, that means we need a card that will let us get out of boss rush. Not this. Hmm. Also, we need to get two boss rush, so... I mean, if we can't get out of boss rush, I'd rather get to it and do it. Um. But I would also like to get out of it, so... No, thank you. Hello? I'm blowing up these skulls because there's a chance of them dropping cards. Oh, here's a lot of skulls. Let's just put these here like this. Stop dropping these fucking... Assholes! I don't want him. We've only got 20 seconds to beat Mom, by the way. Strength, it's not enough. I'm using it here. Get this over with, make sure that you can actually uh, fight the boss Fight the boss rush. We've got a reroll for it, which is nice. But I don't see any way out of it, unfortunately. We did make it in time. We can't look at the deal with the devil, unfortunately, which I would love to have done. Do we take the body? I think we maybe do. Although we have a reroll. Ah, but it could be really good. Look, it's a daily. We have to go for it. It's bollocks. <laughs> it's, really, it's really bad. We do get a uh, very HP up, but now we're a bit slower, which is a problem. Careful. And a bit bigger, I think. Although I'm not sure if our hitbox is affected by that. So, uh, maybe we should have taken the body. Look, it's a choice between two or three HP, to be honest. The body is not actually that great, it just seems awesome. It's 3 HP. 3 red HP. Not really massively a fan of that. Like, I get the idea that HP is great, but 3 versus 2 is its not really a... Uh, it's not something I'm going to be singing the praises of from the rooftops. So uh, we've got a pestilence fight here. We're doing so much damage if we can land these shots, which is actually turning out to be reasonably easy to do. Based on the obscure synergy we've got, where about we have a, sort of a horizontal line of shots that cannot be bested by man nor beast. In fact, if you want to get rid of all those, yeah, rocks for me, that would be splendid. So here we've got our nice little uh, Windows 95 loading screen line of bullets. So anything that gets into it is not going to stay in it for long. It's just knockback, actually. The knockback's really annoying. But things are at least dying nice and quickly. We don't have to aim. And that's my favourite thing. Because aiming is really hard. And I don't like doing it. So if I don't have to do it, I'd rather not. Just draw a line and leave it there. There we go. What have we got here? Pin? Someone's doing lobby noises. I don't like that. Very fast rate of fire. You basically can't complain about it. Ah, uh, excuse me. Can we... We maybe have a little meeting about what just happened. This little son of a bitch right here decided that he could actually do me harm. And properly went for trying. That's dead. That was really fast. Make sure you're not above the big haunt when the little haunts die. Or you're going to have a bad time. Also already dead. Probably couldn't actually have got me if I'd stood next to it, which is very rare indeed. Try not to get hit by the uh, blast assist here, because it will jump upon you. See if you can get a... Uh, the bloat to aggro it. Ah, fuck it. Just kill the bloat. It's not the explodey bloat, which is... You know, it's my... F it's my favourite type of bloat when it's not the one that's actually firing explosive damage shots at you, but at the same time, there is no bloat that is actually the type of bloat that I'd like to deal with, so... Nah, it's you, is it? Every now and then, I'm going to let go of the button, and the reason I'm going to let go of the button is that it causes all the shots that I've got saved up to charge at the enemy at once. That son of a bitch just jumped over them all. We fought you as well, and that was difficult. Hello? There you are. 
So I'm just going to leave this line here, and if you go through it, that's your fault. Yeah. This pie accidentally gets eaten. Nothing to do with me. Another case where we just do this. Our range is actually pretty good. You know, it's going... It's going all the way around... It's not quite going all the way around this, but it will go all the way around this once. I think. <laughs> right. Just uh, get rid of these jokers here. Hello. You can't be on top of each other, you're in the same place. Let's see if we can get rid of this. No, oh, we didn't. Wow, that was a uh, pretty stupendously good shot, actually, I'm being honest. At least that died. Oh, what have we got? Three dollar bill with all this nonsense. Sign me up. Ooh, even better, this is still open. Sign me even fucking further up. This is amazing. Take that, thank you. Get rid of these. And we'll take this. I don't have to worry anymore, I can fly. That basically pays for itself, but do note that it gives us spirit hearts rather than red hearts. But, still at 4 HP, which is what we went in. Uh, I went in with 6, actually. But we, we kind of basically sold the uh, bucket of lard for awesome, awesome items from the deal with the devil. Which I'm happy with. Not happy with the fact that we've got all these explosive shots on the screen at once. But then I should probably pay attention to the fact that I can fly and I can just do this sort of abacus thing going on right here. This is amazing. Um, I hope that everyone re-rolled the same things I did because this is a stupid, stupid run. It doesn't deserve to exist and yet here it is existing and I'm having a great time with it. And I, I hope you're enjoying this particular array of synergies as well. So we'll just uh, strafe this mofo here like this. Why is he facing that way? Can I even do that? No, but something saved me. It wasn't even uh, in for me. You know, these ones have a cross attack, you see, so I can't actually go anywhere. Oh, I've got a uh, 2020. I wondered why the... Uh... I'm saying err a lot. I was wondering why the soothing... Repet... repet oh, that was bad. That's a red poop, apparently. I was wondering why the soothing repetitive tones of my constant firing had paused. Uh, I think we had, um... We had some tear effect that caused us to fire more shots less often gonna uh, launch some barrages at these jokers. Look, I may have mentioned this before, but can someone tell me about these voices that are in the background of this um, this track? Got two of clubs, that's four bombs. We, we want to get to Hush, but we're doing so well. Well, we are doing so well, and therefore we want to get to Hush effectively, but um, I want to visit a few more rooms and see if we can get Maybe a secret. I'm going to use two of clubs now. So I'm going to try looking for secret rooms. Not there. Not there. Not there. Could be here. Okay, there's one. Okay, good. A couple of keys. That's fine. We'll see if there's a... Can we stop firing, please? It's quite difficult to not be firing anymore because you let go of the button and then all the shots that you've stacked up start firing in, you know, continuum trajectories that never actually end anywhere. Which is... Outrageously good fun, don't get me wrong. There's a battery charge here, actually. So what I'm going to do? Small rock. Perfect. I'm going to go and fight the boss. We don't know what the item is going to be. But if we can put it back and re-roll it, we will. It's daddy long legs. So I guess we just save up a bunch of charges. Fire them all at once when he's vulnerable. We don't know what either of them are. I guess we take the one on the right. Latch key. There's a couple of keys. Uh, I think we do our exploration on the next floor. Because we don't need to try and find an AWAS rune or a shovel or anything like that. You know, we're quite happy to... to stay where we are in the... Um, in the runnings here. I don't appreciate being shot by that thing, but turns out it's not always easy to actually get your shots to land on things when you've got this setup. Right, there's no... Um, no boss reward. There may be a deal with the devil if we do it right. Don't get hit, basically. But we'll explore this floor until we feel like we're not going to miss push. Uh, not going to make push, I, I should say. Because that's what I meant. People say, I should say. And they mean, you know, that's what I meant. But honestly, if that's what you should have said, just say that. This is, uh, this is fun. <laughs> Got a little... Ah, it's pretty. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. 
just going to see if there's a secret uh, There's probably not a secret room next to this uh, small room. So there's probably not a secret room next to this small room either. Which has got pride in it. In the night! Oh, an Algis room. The Algis room could actually help us quite spectacularly against the hush. Because it lasts a very long time. There's a to dock here. The next one of these, which we will give away again. Never mind. There could have been a way out of that that didn't involve taking damage, but I mean, I guess who cares? It's pretty good. Nothing too good from that. I mean, I don't think that's going to be a secret room, so I'm not going to try. That could be a secret room next to the curse room, actually, which I always forget is possible. I hate when these things fucking pop up behind you. You know, you're doing really well on the floor, and all that you need to do is be walking in the wrong direction. When one of those son of a bitch turns up. Sons of a bitch just turns up. The magician does literally nothing for us as far as I know. I think the door will be here. <laughs> See how long it took for me to stop firing after I stopped firing. So we'll take the death card in. We probably won't need it. Oh, we have a, a reroll now for the push lobby. Which is actually really valuable. I'm not a fan of this. What's happening? <laughs> Bugged out, and then shit started to go down. That's Krampus. Hi, Krampus. So this is Lumper Coal. Yeah. Lumper Coal's good. I would probably not have taken... Well, I would have wanted to re-roll uh, Krampus's head. What is happening? Why won't they go away? There we go. We've got a minute. Should we do anything? Maybe. Nah. Well, there could be a secret room down here. I just want to try and find the extra secret room, see if we can eke a bit extra out. I don't know. I'm just feeling a little bit underwhelmed by the amount of stuff we've done on this floor so far. So, I'm just going to nip through. See if we can... I can't even do that room. Unless that's a secret room, actually. That's a possibility. Probably shouldn't do that room, actually. It'll take some time and then we'll miss Hush. And Hush is where all the points are at. Hush is way more points than a boss trap room. It's not even going to be there, so we'll leave... Try and get there before the door closes, which should be no problem at all, but I don't want to cut it too fine or we'll, you know, our hubris will get the better of us. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I just went through the thing! Well, that's me 6,000 points down. What the fuck ever. Look. That was a stupid thing to do. I was really not paying attention and I sort of kept walking as I got into the room thinking, what am I doing in this room? And as soon as I saw the hush fight door, I was already through the hole. Oh, fuck it. It's too late. There's nothing that can be done. I've made some mistakes recently, uh, in general. Not just in, in Isaac, but my recent uh, episodes of Darkest Dungeon now have a PSA at the front of them because I screwed up the recording to such a great extent that I would be surprised if anybody could actually cope with listening to them. But we're going to do this. And we're going to get a poor score, and we're going to learn our lesson. Look, they say that uh, experience is the name we give to the sum of our mistakes. Which is an interesting way of looking at it. Basically, all the things we've ever done wrong, we don't do wrong again. Or at least we try not to. So I'm hoping to find something I can re-roll. The alternative is that we can't, and we've had our D6 for the past forever. I was saving it for the hush fight, obviously. But what has turned out to be a major misplay, whereby I wasn't really paying attention when I went into that final boss room. I was on a rush. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not, I'm not going in there yet. We'll do the rest of the floor. Ha, it has turned out to be a, a big problem for us. But, as mentioned, you live and learn. You chalk it up to experience and you move on. This is what we're going to do. So we will move on. We prepare ourselves for a poor score. Poor score and some years ago. A sad Isaac player completely failed to go through the hush door. It's fine. Stop talking about it. We'll never get over it if we don't, you know, forget about it. We have to raise a memorial to it, put it to rest, move on. It's not coming back. We have no opportunity. We're not going to get any points for replaying the map, uh, for doing the practice run or anything. It's just, that's it. We've done. 
Again with the things that spawn behind you whilst you're walking away looking for them. I didn't get hit by any of them this time, but still. I haven't really used my cube of meat, he says, walking full tilt into the shop. Where did that... Oh, right, okay. Loki's shop was covered up by my barrage of tears, which is turning out to be a, as much of a curse as it is a blessing. Hoping to find maybe a, an item somewhere. Anything? I guess we'll get some items on the uh, dark room, so we can use our D6 eventually. It's Loki again. What are you doing here? Thought I killed you yesterday. No, as you didn't kill me. But he was very badly disfigured. I don't want that. That doesn't really do anything for me. It makes you invisible occasionally, which does cause enemies to stop attacking you. Addicted. Oh, that's okay. Another pill. Crazy. Taking pills on the shoal. What's the matter with you? It runs like this that actually make you feel like you're capable of playing Isaac. Speed. Like, shoal is a really difficult floor, right? If you come to shoal for the first time, you will be overwhelmed by the variety and difficulty of the enemies that you encounter. If you have a run like this, where you just can't stop doing damage to anything, including yourself, you'll probably find that you stomp on all of the floor, all of the rooms, and you get the opportunity to try them. I think that's the important thing. Let's go in here. Um, you get through a room nice and quickly, you'll probably take some damage on rooms like the ghost room, where they keep fucking turning up behind you. Jackasses that they are. It's a bit dangerous. Filling chests full of bombs and leaving them for adventurers. Well, I walked into that beam thinking that he was jumping, and I walked into the explosion not realizing that I was in an explosion mode of tears. So, the problem is the tears keep coming, which is a bit sad actually. Think about it. So, you can't really prepare for them because they keep vomiting out the front of my face. Anyway, as I was saying, if you can get through the rooms of Sheol without taking damage or at least dying too horribly. Let me just start thinking about uh, the algae's room once or twice. Like on this room, for example. Yeah, we're definitely going to take damage there, so I don't feel bad about that. Unfortunately, I don't have an algae's room anymore, but I do have this. So now we get permanent Polaroid invincibility. But it does give you some sort of confidence that because you've seen the room, rooms before, you can start to think about how to deal with them. And it's it's great, all, all very well and good, etc. to see them on... Uh, you haven't got the Polaroid, you've got the negative. It's great to see them on a video and watch other people play them, which gives you some sort of primer as to what's going to happen. Uh, no, we're not fucking taking soy milk. We're taking the shears. Because this is going to save me through several rooms, including this one. Um, it's nice to have a primer to have some idea about what's coming up. But to actually have visceral, first-hand experience of them, there's no, uh, there's no making up for that, I'm afraid. You have to do it. You get the opportunity to play it on a run like this, you're going to do really well. I'd like to, if you could drop, m rather than uh, this bullshit um, half-hearts all the time, something that would actually keep me alive if I do get hit one more time, there's a strong chance that we don't make it out of this floor. Because we're not picking up any uh, HP. PhD though, full health. Speed up. I can see forever. Nice. So we'll find our secret rooms. So it's quite a really good. Nice to find secret rooms in the late game here. Oh, you jab end. I didn't realise that could explode on the fire, to be fair. I probably knew that <laughs> because I've been playing Isaac for a very long time. But I, uh, it didn't come to mind. And fire mine just keeps switching on, which is really annoying. It's like, fuck off, right? And there's these tears keep coming out of my face that I fired two years ago. It's like the world's worst fucking savings account. It's like an ISA. An Isaac ISA. And something you thought was gone forever comes around to bite you in the arse because it's turned into a freaking exploding tear coming out the front of your face, which you was kind of expecting would have disappeared a year ago. Like when they finally find you when you think you've dodged a debt. 
better than the ice thing, right? That's so bad. The ice are supposed to be good. Taxman can't get those pans. Right, okay. I'll find that. The thing is, the uh, wall of tears like this takes some time to charge up. We don't start the room with it. It has to wait for the first tier to actually start going before we actually get any of it. Which means I'm actually better off charging up a bunch and then letting go all at once. Just like that. Tommy Cooper. Don't, don't like this too much. We can uh, walk backwards, of course, to get such a line. Also, don't forget, many people will have... Oh, a Perthrow room. I think we Perthrow the D6. No. Yarrow the Perthrow room. And the Blank room. That's incidental. Uh, where are we? We come back up here, we Perthrow the D6. Which is going to move as soon as I get to it. Oh, there we go. Abel. Bullshit. Right. We go and get the other Perthrow room. Oh dear. What was I saying? If we walk backwards, we get a line of tears, but it's not enough. I need more. Blank room. That's Perthrow. It's not what I want. I was hoping to get something other than Perthrow. To be fair, that was kind of a misplay. I should have taken it up here and seen anyway. Oof. See, in that situation, it's perfectly happy to say, no, you're all right. I'll leave you to it, right? But when I wanted to go to the hush fight and failed to, it was a bit bad. Kind of didn't expect him to die. It's all these, um... Right. Look. <laughs> I appreciate that you're giving me items, but they're all shit, so... Let's just take this one and go. Sheesh. That's close. Right, so don't go near the fire. It's a power pill. That's really helpful, actually. There's no money in that fire. The power pill will let us survive a floor. It's a pill version of the Alge's rune and of the chariot card. Unfortunately, it also does um, a fear effect on the enemies, so you have to chase them down. Like Pac-Man. Yera. Well, now I've got two of them. And two black rooms. <laughs> okay. Hi, Galaz. Yera, uh, Yera again. Okay, now I've got four of them. Press the wrong button. Excuse me, I used the power pill. I pressed the Q key and chased him down. But it didn't eat my power pill. And I don't know why. I'm a bit salty about that, but I'm more salty about the fact that I'm a huge dumbass and failed to get to Hush. So we ranked in the top nearly 750, which is fair, I think. Although I kind of expected to rank a lot lower. We didn't redo the mom floor, because we couldn't get out of boss rush. We didn't do hush, and we didn't beat the lamb. So all those three things should really have brought us down way further than that. So I'm kind of happy that we got to where we did. But we didn't get everything done. So it was a bad play, and I think that that score is actually better than it should be. Uh, to, to, uh, you know, to accommodate that. So... I'm happy that I'm there, but also I feel that other people have probably been cheated out of a really good run, maybe by dying early or something. So thank you for watching. I think we were rewarded for bad play there, but maybe tomorrow we will be rewarded for good play, or we will be punished for bad play. Either way, that seems more entertaining, but that was a really fun run. I really enjoyed those synergies, and hopefully tomorrow's will be just as good, and I hope you will join me then. But until then, ta-ta!